Hello folks, in this video we are going to discuss the prognostic factors of surgery for idiopathic epiretinal membrane. As you may know, epiretinal membranes can be secondary or primary or idiopathic. And the idiopathic may progress and cause metamorphopsia and loss of central vision. One of the most challenging situations in retina surgery is the moment to decide when to go ahead and indicate surgery for epiretinal membranes. If we do the surgery too early, we may put the patient at risk and the benefit of the surgery will not be worthy. If the surgery is indicated too late, we may be delaying the visual recovery. So, based on the review of the literature, these are some of the most important prognostic factors of vitrectomy for idiopathic epiretinal membrane. First, shorter duration of symptoms. If you wait too long, retina cells may get sick especially the outer retina and the visual prognosis is worse. Lesser central foveal thickness. We know if there is too much edema for too long, the photoreceptor can have a deeper dense function. Third prognostic factor is a good integrity of the IOS photoreceptor junction, also called ellipsoid zone. This is a key layer to identify the health of the photoreceptors. The final prognostic factor is a thinner ganglion cell or inner plexiform layer. If it's too thick, too swollen for too long, the visual prognosis is worse. So I hope we could review together those prognostic factors that we can use in clinics to help to find the best moment to indicate vitrectomy for idiopathic epiretinal membrane with core vitrectomy, PVD, removal of the epiretinal membrane, and eventually removal of the internal limiting membrane. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day or evening. Bye-bye.